In this video, we'll be learning how to solve exponential equations, which are slightly more complicated than the ones we've seen so far. Now, we're given this equation, 4 raised to the power of 3x equals to 8 raised to the power of x plus 1. And we need to solve this equation for x. Well, the trick here is still the same as what we've seen so far. That is, we need to write each of the two sides of this equation as a power of the same number. But, looking at this equation, we can see that on the left-hand side, we have a power of 4, and on the right-hand side, we have a power of 8. And what makes this a little tricky is the fact that 8 isn't equal to some power of 4, nor is 4 equal, e equal to some power of 8. So, the method here is to look for some number such that 4 is a power of that number, and 8 is also a power of that same number. Now, looking at 4 and 8, the number that comes to mind is 2. And, indeed, we can see that 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 2. And, we can also see that 8 is equal to 2 raised to the power of 3. So, using these two results, we can rewrite our equation as powers of 2. That's the following. If I replace 4 by 2 to the power of 2 and 8 by 2 to the power of 3, the equation becomes 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 3x equals to 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x plus 1. Now, simplifying this a bit will lead us to 2 raised to the power of 2 times 3x equals to 2 raised to the power of 3 times x plus 1. Carrying on and simplifying, we find 2 raised to the power of 6x equals to 2 raised to the power of 3x plus 3. And now that everything's written as powers of 2, we can go ahead and get rid of those 2's altogether and equate the exponents. That's 6x equals to 3x plus 3. And so now subtracting 3x from each side of this equation leads us to 6x minus 3x equals to 3. That's 3x equals to 3. And finally, dividing both sides of this equation by 3, we find our final answer. x is equal to 1. And that's this equation solved. Let's look at another example. Let's say we have to solve 9 raised to the power of 2x plus 1 equals to 27 raised to the power of x minus 1. And once again, we need to solve this for x. Well, again, looking at this equation, we can see that on the left-hand side, we have a power of 9. And on the right-hand side, we have a power of 27. And we can see right away that 27 is not equal to a power of 9, nor is 9 equal to a power of 27. So we're going to have to find some other number. Now, looking at the numbers 9 and 27, the number that comes to mind is 3. And indeed, we can see that 9 is equal to 3 to the power of 2, and 27 is equal to 3 to the power of 3. So using these two results, we can rewrite our equation as 3 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2x plus 1 equals to 3 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x minus 1. And now, simplifying this a bit, we find 3 to the power of 2 times 2x plus 1 equals to 3 to the power of 3 times x minus 1. This leads us to 3 to the power of 4x plus 2 equals to 3 to the power of 3x minus 3. And now that we've written everything as a power of 3, we can go ahead and get rid of those 3's and equate the exponents. That would look like this. 4x plus 2 plus 2 equals to 3x minus 3. And I'll just tidy that up a bit. That was 4x plus 2 equals to 3x minus 3. Now, subtracting 2 from each side of this equation, we find 4x 
equals to 3x minus 5. And subtracting 3x from this, each side of this equation, we find our final answer, which would be x equals to negative 5. And that's this equation's solution. And so that's how we're going to solve this type of equation. Remember, the overall method is still the same. To solve this type of equation, we still need to write each side of the equation as a power of the same number.